hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the calculation of propagation delay in complementary cmos circuit design in the previous video i have explained you how to design the cmos logic circuit especially complementary cmos logic circuit uh, that means there are three different types of uh, static circuits we have seen among these complementary cmos circuit was the one that too we have seen how to design in the previous videos now in this video especially you are going to learn about the estimation of propagation delay for a circuit given to you okay so for any circuit if you want to analyze the propagation delay definitely there exists a resistance and capacitance the propagation delay can be calculated propagation delay can be calculated which is proportional to resistance in product with capacitance always these two are the important factors for a signal to be delayed okay so propagation delay is proportional to resistance into capacitance r into c that's why tau always we are writing in terms of resistance into capacitance r c product this is the time constant tau you might have heard the time constant in subjects like of, uh, uh, pdc or any type of lic linear integrated circuit applications in all subjects we are going to calculate the propagation delay occurred in any type of logical circuit any type of circuit not only logic circuit any type of analog circuit also the delay can be calculated by the multiplication of resistance and capacitance now suppose if a transistor is given to you a transistor is given to you let us consider this is the transistor and mos transistor with input vdd that means the transistor comes into on state and it is having a capacitor in series assume that both of these ends are connected to the grounds and now initially the capacitor is charged to vdd the voltage across this load capacitor let it be vdd now as this transistor is in on state the capacitor has to discharge okay that means capacitor initially it will be having a potential like this now we are expecting theoretically from vdd to zero this is the characteristic curve we are expecting from vd to zero there exists a sudden drop in the voltage this is the theoretical assumption but practically this case will not occur suppose this is the potential that the capacity is having across it when the transistor comes into on state it takes some time to discharge to zero volts from vdd this is because of this product of resistance and capacitance so the equivalent model of this network is simply the transistor is replaced by a resistor always the on transistor or saturated transistor is in saturation that particular transistor is replaced by a resistor it is a equivalent model and here we are having a capacitor across which we are having a potential like vdd plus minus vdd now capacitor discharges through this resistance let let us consider for n mos transistor we are taking the resistance rn n mos transistor we are taking the resistance rn then the time constant is proportional to rn in multiplication with cl if it is cl load capacitance value okay so if you remove this proportionality the calculation gives 0.69 into resistance and capacitance where this 0.69 came from this 0.69 we have calculated by taking the rise time and fall time at exactly tr times the output reaches from 0 to vdd and similarly at exactly tf times the output reaches from vdd to 0 okay so this is the rise time calculation tr and this is the fall time calculation tf so in the calculation of rise time and fall time we will be having an exponential value and that means we will write like a t is equal to tr 
then output voltage is equal to VDD. Okay, in this we will know the formula like output voltage is equal to V final minus V final minus V initial into E power minus T by RC. These are the calculations you might have studied in the pulse and digital circuit subjects. So in that, if you simplify that value, you will be having this 0.69. I will write out that formula V output, V out is equal to V final minus V final minus V initial into E power minus T by RC. This is the formula. So V final value, suppose if you are calculating rise time, okay, V final value is nothing but VDD. Here also V final is VDD minus initial value is 0 into E power minus T becomes TR by R into C. And output voltage becomes VDD. So if you take VDD common from all these, VDD, VDD gets cancelled and after simplification you will get this 0.69. Now the same condition is extended with respect to the two input NAND gate. Here the delay estimation for delay calculation for two input NAND gate. Delay estimation for two input NAND gate. Okay, so we know very well how the circuit diagram is going to draw. So two input NAND gate is having F is equal to A into B bar. I told you already the realization of logic circuits is very important in this particular concepts, combinational logic circuits that too in the combinational uh, complementary CMOS circuit design. Okay, so two inputs are there. So two PMOS transistors are there and two NMOS transistors are there. As it is a product combination, PMOS transistors must be in parallel. Opposite is the case with the NMOS transistors. So NMOS transistors are in series. So output is equal to, we can say it is A, B bar. NAND operation. So two input NAND operation. Now the same circuit is replaced by its equivalent model where all the transistors are replaced by a resistor followed by a switch. Okay. See here M3 is a transistor which is a PMOS transistor. It is having an internal resistance like RP and the switching action is given by this switch. So depending upon the input condition, the switch closes or opens. Here also the M4 is replaced by a resistor RP and the switch is here. Coming to this NMOS transistor M1 and M2, M2 transistor again it is replaced by a resistor RN in series with a switch. Here also one more RN in series with a switch B. Now here we are taking additionally a load capacitor CL. The load capacitor is nothing but input capacitance of the succeeding stages. Actually, we are not adding any resistor or capacitors intentionally in the circuit. All these are because of the components that are existed in the mass structure. Okay, we know very well the input impedance of the mass transistor is very high. So, the next succeeding stages may have high input impedance that will be acting as a load capacitance or impedance for this particular NAND circuit. Along with the CL, we will be also having a internal resistance, internal capacitance of this particular transistor M1. Okay, so suppose for example, if I am assuming, if I am taking a 0, 0 combination, okay, for example, for example, assume A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0. That means, what about the NMOS and PMOS transistors? NMOS transistors are in off state and PMOS transistors are in on state. So, NMOS is nothing but M1, M2 are off, M3, M4 are on. See the circuit diagram. So, M3, M4 are on, M1, M2 are off. So, as these two transistors are in on state, so there exists a circuit like this. Okay, I will draw here only. It is RP and the switches are closed. Here it is RP. We will be having a network in parallel with these two and this is the load capacitance CL. Here we have VDD. Okay, 
so now this is the situation occurred where rp rp both resistors are having equal values and connected in parallel so what is the equivalent resistance so r equivalent resistance is equal to rp by 2 so when same valued resistors are connected in parallel the equivalent resistance is off of the particular value so r equivalent is rp by 2 and c value we know cl so what is the delay so delay factor associated for that particular combination a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 tau is equal to i told you 0 0.69 times resistance now it is rp by 2 and into capacitance cl okay this is the way how to calculate the time delay and now for example a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 1 in this situation now tell me opposite cases will occur so m1 m2 comes into on state and m3 m4 comes into off state so as these two transistors are in on state so here one resistor followed by another resistor and these two are given with a load capacitor cl okay so this is rn value and it is rn value now if you see the capacitor previously it was charging but now it is discharging through these two resistors and what about the time delay tau is equal to delay tau is equal to rn plus rn 2 rn into cl this is the proportionate value and we can say tau is equal to 0 0.69 into 2 times rn into CL. This is the way for the calculation of time delay with respect to the NMOS transistors. Okay. Suppose Elmore's delay model is there. Elmore's delay model. In that Elmore's delay model, we are calculating the time delay with respect to a particular logic function, either NMOS or PMOS. Okay. Suppose if you are taking the same circuit, sorry, here, if you are taking the same circuit, then when this particular transistor is in on state and this is in off state so rn into c internal is the rn into c internal is the delay and if this transistor is also in on state then rn plus rn into cl so we can write that as tau is equal to 0 0.69 into rn into c internal plus rn plus rn into cl that is equal to 0 0.69 into rn c internal plus 2 rn c internal we can write it as 0 0.69 rn c internal plus 2 cl this is the time delay calculation using elmore's delay model the same can be applied to 4 input NAND gate, 4 input NAND gate. Again here also there are two diagrams are there, one is the transistor diagram and other one is the resistance equivalent diagram. See here every transistor is replaced by its equivalent resistor and a switch. Now using this Elmore's delay model can we write this equation? very easy so how the delay can be calculated r1 c1 plus when this transistor r2 is also in on state r1 plus r2 into c2 and again when this is also in on state r1 plus r2 plus r3 into c3 and when all four transistors in the nmos transistor are on then r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 into cl so using Elmore's delay model tau is equal to 0 0.69 into R1 C1 is it C1? R1 C1 yes plus R1 plus R2 into C2 that means when you are going for the second transistor and first transistor both are in on state then we can say r1 plus r2 into c2 then c1 effect will not be there again when third transistor is in on state c3 effect will be there and c1 c2 are not there again when all the four transistors bottom transistors are in on state then cl will come into action 
where is the remaining will not come plus r1 plus r2 plus r3 into c3 plus r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 into c4 c4 is nothing but load capacitance cl okay for our simplicity for example r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r3 equal to r4 is equal to something like rn and here then it is tau is equal to 0 0.69 <coughs> into rn c1 plus rn plus rn2 rn c2 plus 3 rn c3 plus 4 rn cl okay so if you take rn common c1 plus 2c2 plus 3c3 plus and so on plus 4cl or no 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 it is not for general plus 4cl i will write again Okay, so C1 plus C2 plus C1 plus 2C2 plus 3C3 plus 4CL. This is the delay estimation for the combinational CMOS circuit design or we can say complementary CMOS circuit design. Thank you.